Obudo Mountain Resort is one of the most beautiful holiday and tourist destination in Nigeria as well as in Africa. And I've actually shown you guys a lot about Obudu Mountain Resort through the series that I did about Obudu. So in case you didn't watch it, after this video, you can actually check out the Obudu Mountain Resort series that we have on this channel. But the main question that is in the mind of many people, is it really safe to travel to Obudu Mountain Resort? Shortly after I uploaded the first video about the Mountain Resort, one of my subscribers sent in a question asking if it was safe to travel to the Mountain Resort and you know things to expect in terms of security. So my plan in today's video is not just to tell you about the security but probably to tell you a lot more about the Mountain Resort. So in today's video I'll be covering logistics, accommodation, things to do in the Mountain Resort, the average cost of actually going to Obudu, security, best times to visit Obudu and probably other things I think you should know before you visit Obudu Mountain Resort. Alright, so stick to the end of this video because there's a lot you have to learn through this video if you intend to travel to Obudu Mountain Resort this holiday or anytime soon. Okay, so let's begin by talking about the logistics and access into Obudu Mountain Resort. Now, depending on where you're coming from in Nigeria, you can actually get a bus that will take you from your location directly to Obudu Town. And from Obudu Town, then you can take either a bus or a bike from Obudu Town to the Mountain Resort. Now, there is a airport at Calabar, which you can actually also decide to fly to Calabar and then move from Calabar to the Obudu Town and then from Obudu Town to the Obudu Mountain Resort. However, if you are coming from places like from Abuja, which you can actually get a direct box that will take you to Obudu, it will be a waste of time for you to fly to Calabar first. So it's just better you go to Obudu because the same time it will take you from Calabar to Obudu is the same time it will take you from Abuja to Obudu if you go by the bus. And it's roughly around 9 hours. I've also heard that there are plans to build an international airport at Obudu so that means if that happens and when that happens then it will become much easier for you to get into Obudu and probably you know have your best times there because I mean from Abuja if you're flying into Obudu it wouldn't take up to 30 minutes so that would really be great if that happens but until that happens your best route to Obudu is to take a bus straight from your location to Obudu and that would take you like nine hours all right so let's talk about accommodation it's dry season so my truth is getting dried in the Buddha mountain resort accommodation ranges from 250,000 naira to 25,000 naira so or is it vice versa from 25,000 naira to 250,000 naira now 250,000 naira is if you are taking the presidential lodge uh 25,000 naira is a single lodge which you know anyone can take so that's the highest and the minimum in between you have 75,000 naira and you have that 5,000 naira 45,000 naira as well for the 75,000 naira which is like the mountain villa the mountain villa is like a three bedroom room a uh, three bedroom bungalow and that goes for 75,000 naira so if you decide to get that you know you can if you're coming like a group you can actually get that and share However, if your budget is far below 25,000 Naira, there's an alternative way to for accommodation. At the Obudu Mountain Resort, there is a community just close to the resort which have a hotel and you can actually go there and rent a hotel which goes from 12,000 Naira to 15,000 Naira. So depending on your budget and what you're coming to do, so if you don't have the 25,000 Naira which is the minimum to rent an accommodation in Obudu Mountain Resort, you can actually take that alternative I just talked about which is around 12,000 Naira, 15,000 Naira and you know still be able to have access into Obudu Mountain Resort and you know have the best time if you want. So depending on the kind of accommodation that you get in the Obudu Mountain Resort, you have access to firewood to heat up the place or probably electric heater to heat up the place. There are no ACs, there are no fridge. Of course, you do not need it because the place is a very cold place, so you do not need any of those stuffs. 
and there's also a television uh, that you can probably watch. Now in terms of electricity, in the mornings and in the afternoons, there are no lights in the accommodation. So do not expect light. You can only have access to light in the evenings or in the night. And so, uh, in case you're intending to come and stay and walk in the afternoon, that's not going to happen because light is usually kind of a challenge over there. But I heard they installed uh, a solar panel there recently, but when I asked, in fact, they said it wasn't working. So. <laughs> Okay, next let's talk about the things you can do in the Buddha Mountain Resort. There are lots of things you can actually do in this place from hiking, walking, visiting specific areas, taking a ride horse, you know, you know, joining the electric car and all of that. However, for you to access specific areas in the Buddha Mountain Resort, there are fees that you have to pay. So let's say for instance, if you want to go for a canopy walk or to check out the forest reserve. You have to actually pay an access fee to get into that place. Now, when you get to the Oputo Mountain Resort at the reception, if you ask them, they will provide you the list of all the places and the cost of accessing those areas in case you want to. So they have different places, different areas. Let me try to see if I can put it up on the screen. So now you have an option to actually visit those areas by yourself. And when you get there, you can just pay the access fee and get inside, take a look and do whatever you want to do. Or you can actually go with a tour guide the tour guide will take you around to each of those areas that you decide that you want to go, as well as explain to you, you know, a brief history about those areas. However, going with the tour guide doesn't come free because you have to pay the tour guide, depending on your negotiation with them. But basically, it's between 5,000 naira up that you have to pay the tour guide. So let's, let's talk about the average cost of actually visiting the Buddha Mountain Resort. Now, prior to making this video, there are a lot of people that are packaging in a holiday visit to Obudu Mountain Resort. In fact, I saw one of these adverts on Instagram and they're actually charging like 150,000 Naira to take you to Obudu Mountain Resort for two days, from Abuja to Obudu Mountain Resort for two days. And the thing is that even the accommodation they are providing, you're going to share, two persons have to share one accommodation. All right, so. You can either pay 150,000 Naira and go to Buddha Mountain Resort for two days or you probably can just find out the real cost of actually going to Buddha Mountain Resort from this video and then decide to go by yourself. Alright, so let's break it down. How much does it take? How much will it actually cost you to go to Buddha Mountain Resort? I mean that you are going from Abuja to Buddha Mountain Resort, let's talk about transportation first. Now, all you have to do is to go to a place called Maraba. From Maraba, you can actually get a bus that will take you directly straight to Ubudu and it costs between 5,000 Naira and 6,000 Naira, depending on the time you're going. So, minimum of 5,000 Naira and 6,000 Naira. Now, when you get to the Ubudu town, from Ubudu town, you can take a bus that will take you from Ubudu town to the Ubudu resort itself, which costs around uh, 500 to 1,000 Naira. So, let's just say 1,000 Naira. So, basically, you are spending between 6,000 or 7,000 Naira to get to Ubudu Mountain Resort. Let's talk about the accommodation. I already told you guys. So, depending on your cost, the accommodation can go for 25,000 Naira or you can even go below that. So, you multiply that for two days and see how much that gives you. And your feeling, of course, depends on you, how you spend. But basically, a plate of meal, let's say uh, 1,500 Naira. So, if you're spending like four or five, or 5,000 Naira maximum for each day. So for the two days, let's say 10,000 Naira. And then for the activities. Now, like I've already told you, depending on what you want to do, there are lots of activities you can do. And each of those activities, especially specific areas of visit, have the cost of accessing those activities. Even if you decide that you want to do all of the activities that you find in the Buddha Mountain Resort, you'll be spending like say 16 to 17, 18,000 Naira maximum, you know, to do all of those activities. Alright, so let's put it together. Transportation, accommodation, feeding, and activities. Depending on your budget and what you plan, you could be spending between 50,000 Naira and 90,000 Naira maximum to actually visit Ubudu for two days. Next, let's talk about security, which is the big elephant in the room. But before we get into that, if you are watching this video to this point and you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as well as comment below what your thoughts are about this video and about traveling to Buddha Mountain Resort and don't forget to share this video so other people can also get to discover uh, this video and as well learn about the Buddha Mountain Resort and finally if you have not been following the Buddha Mountain Resort series please check it out and follow all the series we've done about this place 
Now let's talk about the security. Now based on my experience traveling from Obodo town to Obodo, I didn't find any form of security on the road. Most of the roads, of course, are village. You're going to be passing people's villages until you get to the resort itself. I didn't find any presence of security personnel on the road. In fact, I only found one roadblock, and when I asked, they said they were via you, but they weren't on uniform anyway. But from my question and asking the people that actually uh, live around, have been to the place, and actually operate in the Buddha Mountain Resort, they said there have never been any form of security incidents in that place. So that means the place is absolutely safe since it has been operating. So the place is safe. And also at the mountain resort, I didn't really see the presence of security men like police, military or whatever. I didn't see that they could be there. But for me, like I said, I never saw anyone uh, on police post and all of that. However, the place looked and was very safe. There's uh, like two big communities or villages that are already inside the Obodo Mountain Resort or within Obodo Mountain Resort. So I think people just live around there, live their lives normally like every day. So there are no security issues at all. However, if you are someone that is very concerned about security, then you can actually make your own you know, plans to go with the security personnel to visit the place. Especially if you are packaging a tour guide or probably are going as a group. Maybe you want to go with one security person if you think it's necessary. But in my case, I don't think it's necessary. I don't think uh, it's something I have to worry about. The place is safe. There have never been any security incident. I think there's security person at the gate, but I mean like uh, police officers or military people, you know, within that vicinity, just in case something happens. I mean, there'll be a quick response. But for now, like I said, there have not been any security bridges or incidences there, and there is also no heavy security presence in that place. So that's it about security. All right, so finally, let's talk about other things you might need to know before you visit Obodo Mountain Resort. Though the first and foremost is, if you're visiting Obodo Mountain Resort, of course, make sure that you go with your sweater, your cardigan, your head warmers, your socks, because the place is extremely cold. But just in case you forgot to carry on any of those things, of course, inside Obodo Mountain Resort, you can still buy any of those things there, but of course, it's going to be more expensive. So when will be the best time to visit the Buddha Mountain Resort? Well, I think I'll recommend between October and February because between October, that's towards the end of the rainy season and February, you know, the dry season have really started. So within that time, you'll be able to visit and you'll not be stopped by rain because in the Buddha Mountain Resort, the weather changes so fast and if it is raining season, it could just be raining almost all day. And you don't want to visit during that time because you'll not be able to create the content or enjoy the place to its fullest. So, but if you visit between October and February, I think that's like be like the best time. Especially for content creators, try not to visit during rainy season because you can actually be stopped by the rain. For me, I visited in September and to be honest, I planned for a one day, I ended up spending two days because the first day it was raining all through as well as it was, you know, very foggy. I couldn't shoot the drone, I couldn't do anything. So I have to stay back the next day to actually be able to get, uh, you know, some of the shots that I got and it was pretty amazing. So like I said, if you haven't seen it, I mean, you can check it out. That like you have seen like the best drone shot of Ubudu really and all about Ubudu on that video. Okay, so that would be the second advice I want to give. Then totally. When you get to the Obudo Mountain Resort, then there is this mountain road that you have to climb up to get to the reception E7 and to start up your, uh, your you know, exploration. Now, that mountain road is a very zigzag snake-like road. <laughs> so, my advice is, if you're someone that is height phobia, you don't like height, you're afraid of height, please don't go through that mountain road on a bike. Make sure that you go in a car because that's going to be the best option for you. However, if you are someone that like adventure, you like to explore, you want to have the best feel of Obudu Mountain Resort, then you need to pass through that road using a bike and not a car. Because when you use a bike, I'm telling you, it's a different experience. You're going to be seeing everything crystal clear and enjoy the ride itself because you have this shape, move, you know, snake-like shape movement. It's really fun. It's one of the fun things you actually experience once you get to the Obudu Mountain Resort let's talk about food so basically for me like when i travel i try to pack you know some 
little things that I can just eat on my way so I don't have to buy so many heavy foods. But they have restaurants there you can actually order food, eat. And if you don't even want to order at the Obudoman to resort reception there, there's a community just behind or beside the resort there that you can actually just buy things from little things that you want to buy and use as well. Next is in terms of hospital, I did not actually see any hospital when I visit or probably I did not visit that area but I was told that there is a kind of a hospital there but I don't know whether it's functioning or not. So I would just advise if you're visiting, just try to get some of uh, your daily routine drugs like uh, pain reliefs, cold and all of that just in case you end up getting cold or you end up you know having pains you'll be able to take something for first aid to take care of yourself before you know calling for any additional help so that is what i would advise all right so in case there's anything i have forgotten i've not talked about in this video please drop the comments below and i'll be able to answer you and also if you want to know about the tour guide that took me around and you want to work with the tour guide you can also let me know and i will link up with you below have you been to budomante resort what was your own experience could you also be glad to share let's have the discussion on the comment below all right thank you guys for watching today's video if you haven't seen the Ubuntu series i've linked it up here follow the series watch out the series if you want to see the best drone shot of Ubuntu, you will find it here the detail all about Ubuntu, i did it here the road drive i did it all here so check out those series and so you can enjoy and know all about Ubuntu before you visit or even if you cannot visit i mean you can visit through my own lenses all right so don't forget on this channel we're still trying to hit 10,000 subscribers so if you haven't subscribed yet please try to subscribe and watch the other videos we have on the channel one last thing there's this documentary i did about train ride i don't know how many of you have seen that video it's really an interesting video but i realize many people haven't watched that video so let me recommend that you watch that video as well it's an interesting video if you haven't seen it all right thank you so much for today i'll see you in the next one